Good morning, everybody, my subscribers, my students, my viewers, my fellow traders. I greet you all. Today is the fourth, third day of April 2021. Time now is 10:44 a.m. Most African time. My name is Samuel Lokoyocha. I want to give you the forest analysis, both commodities and stock and cryptocurrencies for the coming week. Okay, in this analysis, I may not cover everything as usual because I have limited time, and to do this analysis takes much time as you can as you can think of. So today is holy Saturday. I go to my village for some important things. So, but I want to do this because if I, if I don't do it now, maybe I would be able to do it again till Wednesday next week. So, and I know it's important to you and to me and, my, and all my subscribers as well. So, let's start. DXY. As I, as I have always said, DSY have gotten to our target, but there is, there is room for extension. Once this little channel is broken, we, I expect extension towards 94. It may, not, it may not come to the blue box, but it will, it will likely come at least very near to it. So. If you want to sell DSY, I advise you to have some patience. Wait for more for at least one push up before you before you look for sell. I also want to sell because I know that from this this price level we are going to 88, 88 and below. So it will be a very nice trade when the sell triggers. Okay. This is one hour just to make it clearer. We have how many swing? One, two, three, four. We would like to have five swings before we before the final push up. So I'm expecting another swing. One, two, three, four, five. Before we break this and go up at least once more before we look for sale. You know USD. I'm also looking for a further drop. You know, my, my targets have been 1.16. For the past two months or so, if you watch my previous videos, that I always maintain that below USD, and my target is 1.16. And if you, if you look at this very place, you can see that we are almost there. We are going to, we are going to be 1.17, so, here is my minimum target for a long time, but as, as things stand now, we will likely have the sale towards this blue box. Maybe from here, we will buy. So, we keep watching how the price rats in this, but at least I'm expecting a, a further drop, at least one drop, which we may come to 1.16 level. Okay, we go. You know, you know JPY. You know, you know JPY is going up, but I don't. I cannot buy it now. Neither do I advise you to buy because I can. I can see that once we break this high, we will like. We will likely sell once more. The the movement up is. A kind of sideways movement and in this type of trade i don't like to trade it if you have a reason to trade you can about me i'd rather wait for for you to give me a, a reasonable structure for now i don't have reason to sell it okay the one hour except in one hour level now in one hour if you want to buy so that I'm not about to buy it, please. If, if, if you want to buy, once here is broken, you can buy, your here will be stop loss. 
But the reason I don't want to buy is that the up move can stop here. But normally it should be here. So if you buy this, once the price move, I will, I will advise you to bring your stop loss to break even so that you don't lose your money. This line is a weekly or either weekly or daily trend line, and sometimes they serve as support. And if it is down, uh, sorry, as a resistance, and if, if it's down, it's, it's serve as support. So this can change this movement, it can progress the movement. So, and you know, if you buy here, take profit here. Now, I mean, the risk is not a good trade. But if it goes here, it's a good trade. But it can truncate the move. So if you buy it, once the market moves in your favor, move your move, move, move stop to break even because you can see a move like this that you can't do like this. And before you know it, the selling will start. So in, the, in this type of trade, you, you need to be careful. You know USD, sorry, you know AUD. Euro AUD, I'm expecting the market to, to move to continue moving up. Now let me give you some lessons about this. When the market when after this move, I count it as with one or with A. And when this happened, when we got this A, B, C. I was expecting a strong move. Though it moves strong, and the, this type of move makes me to have a, a doubt that it will go further. But now, what do we see? We see another strong move up. Had it been that this move moved like this, then I will tell you that it will likely go lower. But since we got another strong move, what we will be we'll looking at now is, for, is one, to break this channel, two, to break this. Once these two are broken, then I will confirm that this is with one. And this is wave two indeed. So, but for now, I can still call it wave either one or a, either two or B, because the move, if it continues to, to, to be strong, it can move and give us wave three, which will go very, very far. But if it continues moving, moving sideways, it can come above this place and still come down. Then it will give us what we call uh, maybe a flat and give us a low below this place. But the way it's moving now, I think this is the wave two we are looking for. The, the incoming candles will give us more light. So, as I said, watch out for here a break of it. I mean. A, uh, a strong movement, a strong move that we break it, we give us the confidence that we are heading to web three. Okay. We move. You know New Zealand. You know, you know New Zealand. Uh, is going up. It's likely that this channel will be the next target but right now i'm still looking for another swing down maybe up down before we buy unless we got a move i'm looking for something like this then we move but if it moves sharp and break this level and give us a correction then we buy so look for further move down before they buy but not the, the the move down is, is not a good trade because it will likely end within this channel so and uh, the risk reward will, will, would make a make sense unless you are trading one hour and lower time frame you may, you may see it you may see everything to sell okay you can see the one hour candle of course it can it can be a good trade if we if the price move up and give us a selling setup, it, it, it means here will be stop loss. And if, if you got the selling around here, it will be a good trade because it will likely come down to this place, which is more than one over three RR. So it will be a good trade 
but I don't, I don't like trading on one hour. So, nevertheless, it is a good trade if you get the setup to sell. We sell and close here, then we look for buy, which will be the, the middle trade we like to take. Eurochef, Eurochef, when this broke, when this, when this uh, line broke, I'm expecting a strong move, but it made a consolidation. Nevertheless, not late. It can still, it can still go, go fast because this move is sharp. So if this give us A, B, C, then I will go for buying. But if it, it if it if the buying stops here, if the buying is not strong enough and it stops in this line again, then I will look for sell to this very level. It means that this is a bigger A, and this is B. I mean, this B will be somewhere here, and we look for C. But the fact remains that this may not happen. This can be the whole correction, A, B, C. But the point there is, if here is the end of the correction, the next is that all this move will be strong. By now, it will have been gone above this. But you can see, the, the move is, is not strong. But secondly, sometimes, beginning of uh, next impulse may, may be sluggish. But at a time it will it will peak. But right now, let's watch for what happens. The way it reacts here will give us either we have see here or it continues going up. So we look for two things. First, move down here, move up here. The way it moves, we now mean whether this B will be here, then we have C. Okay, and uh, if we have that, it means we will buy from this place upwards. So we keep watching to see how it how it will develop. Euro card, a euro card, euro card. I'm uh, it have it have touched came into our blue box. But it didn't go deeper to it. What I'm trying to say, our selling is almost over, if not over. We have gotten the A, B, C. This is A, B. Let, let me show you. This is A, B. And this is with C. You see how it developed A, B, C again. So it is inside the blue box now in daily. But it, it have, uh, let's go to forward to see it. If I left the blue box, we need to go back to the blue box. It's possible. Let's go to four hours. So now, why I say it's possible that it can still go back to the blue box? So if I come to the blue box, which is the minimum target. So what do we expect? Either the price just dropped once more to come into this line again, I mean this channel again, before it will finally move up. Or it will... Or it will just, as it will break here, come to this place and come back here before going up. Or it won't come back here again. It will just break it, give us correction, and uh, come to this area. So this is the next target. So how many things, the, 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 the dimension now? Three things. Either it come here first and begin to buy one, or it will come here and come back before it buy to totally it may not come back to this place again it may just break this give us consolidation and we buy and here is our target here is our target bear that in mind so let's move Euro pounds, Euro pounds, uh, when the price was here, when the price was this, 
we are our, I'm of the opinion that if we break it, uh, we have consolidation here and drop. But instead, you can see it is going sideways. It is going sideways. Because of the sideways, I'm looking at I'm looking for two things. One, if you keep going sideways for throughout next week, then after that, it will give us this move, give us this move, and we we'll buy. Or it will just give us this move, give us this move, and we we'll buy. So two things, this sideways, we, uh, this sideways may take a long time to end. Secondly, it may end fast. The break of this, coming back to this place, and we we'll buy. So the linger may not happen. It may linger or not. So. But as the market develops, we keep watching this, how it reacts in, inside this channel. Then one hour, no difference on one hour. Just to see the, in the, in the four hours, in four hours, the channel, I leave it here. But in one hour, I want to close this gap, you see. So this may be the one that we walk, maybe to go between here. Something like this may happen, or it will linger. It will keep going, going for a long time. So I don't know yet. So when the market opens, we keep watching what will happen. But I, I'm of the opinion that the price will break this, come to this area and come back again before they buy. That's my own, my own forecast on that. USD card. The weakness of USD is, is delaying the the buying of USD card. Even at uh, a better outcome of NFP for those who follow the news, still USD cannot move. So the card is being too strong for 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 USD. Nevertheless, my my own in my opinion, my focus is that. Uh, this move will continue going down and cut to this place and the buy will happen or it, or it may go this way then the buy will happen so i don't think that we are coming to this low again at least for now i don't think that we are coming to take this low again for now so expect the side move to continue towards this level and give us a buy or it may give us a let me clear this. Or it, it may just give us this can be our A, then it may give us B, give us C. That's the B B A B C. Then from here we buy two things sideways to this level, give us A B C and buy. So what am I trying to say? I'm looking for buy, not sell. That's the message. The one hour and four hours, no much difference. Uh, to see this, you can see the swings better. So uh, the swing may just continue to be going like that. I have seen the first swing: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sometimes it it happens like this. Okay, but not this, this is not time for lesson. So when we think about swing, if you are joined our class by then, you learn. If not, we continue. I always tell you to join my class now that I have the time and my charges is very, very low. So I don't know why you are wasting time. It's up to you. But I know sometimes you can when I will not have the chance to hold classes again. Okay. That's by the way. USDJPY, USDJPY, we, we, we still have a long way to go. We still have a long way to go. So watch out. Watch out for little sideways and up move. So my first target was 110 to 111. This, this was my, my, my first target. 
long time ago, when the price was here, was around here. So now I'm looking for sideways or correction. My target now is 113, 114. So, but don't think it will just begin to move right now to the place. So we look, we look for uh, sideways consideration before we look for. Uh, of course, you can see in, in four hours. The sideways have started, have started already. So, how long will it last? Will it come to this channel? We decide we continue to move towards this upper channel. It's likely. But I will be happy to see the price come to this place. I'll be happy to see it come to this trend. Then I will buy from there. Because it may just break this channel and come back again. But Nevertheless, USJPY, I'm still, I'm looking to enter my buy because I've closed the one I traded. So, sideways to the, to the channel is better. If it doesn't happen, it may de decide to give us another loss, another one candle, another one swing and up move. So, once the market moves up above this place, we, we enter our, our buy. And here will be the stop loss. So it will be a good trade. <coughs> what next? Yes, DHF. Yes, DHF is going up. It's going up, but not as the structure is not as good as that of USDJPY. Let's go to four hours. So in, in four hours, <coughs> we will likely also what as I just as we are, as we are expecting on USDJPY. Yeah, some move like this towards this then another drop so our drop our target is here 0 0.95 0 0.96 here is our target so we will likely achieve that but bear in mind that selling is uh, also very near to us okay let's move USD chef this is one hour in one hour we can see the structure clearer this is a and this is B like this B must have been over and then we look for C so from one hour we can see that this very channel can hold just as we are looking at it it will likely give us a buy setup from here and it will be a good trade because if you get if you get buy setup from here sub loss will be somewhere here it, it won't be much our stop loss so maybe this level may give us where the stop loss will be this level okay so let's move on new zealand eh, sorry AUD, AUD, AUD usd okay AUD USD, that's the, here is where we see another weakness of USD. So I'm expecting, I'm expecting a further move towards this very uh, blue boss. I've, I have explained my reason before why I expected to come here. So I won't be doing it all the time. Okay, so once we get to this place, we look for buy. Okay. In gold, there's something I will teach on gold, but uh, not here. That will be the benefit of my students. I will teach them one why and when to look for long time buy on gold. Right now, we look for buy, but not the long term. So we will buy gold, but I won't tell you the reason. Okay. But once we get, uh, this is one, two, three, four, five. Once we get either A, B, C, or W, X, Y, or W, X, Y, X, Z, that is five swings, then we buy. The reason remains with me and my students. Oh, this is uh, BNB. Okay, it's going up. Binance is going up, but I'm looking for ABC before I buy. 
Pense USD. Pense USD. It's going up. But I don't want to. I don't want to buy it yet. So it's it's continue going up, but I don't want to buy. Because I'm looking for a drop. There, is, there are areas I will be comfortable to buy, not from this area. So this as the as the social is now. I may I may I may buy if the price comes to here and give me a good trade setup which will provide a tight stop loss then I will buy because I know that the buying may end around here and price will come down again. So I'll be very very careful if I will buy pounds USD. Pounds chef the same thing I want to see a drop before they buy and the target is very very near pounds card you see this is our buy zone for a long time you can see the reason we have a zone where we trade you don't just enter anyhow so all this is what I'm teaching my students because when the price, when, the, when this was happening, anybody can think, okay, so it's according to the blue box and uh, it didn't go further either, it, then it, it's buying. This country is, this country is strong, this country is strong. Then you enter buy. It will come here, come back. It may, it may, it may even come here again and come back. So let me, let me just tell you, don't be surprised to see this market do this again. And come back to this place. Don't be surprised. It happens. You see, the first test it failed. Second one it failed. Though this may not fail, but the failing is not out of place. It it would be strange if it come here again and and come back. So, why I say buy zone is that when the buying confirms properly, then we buy, and our target will be above the current high. So. There's a, a lot to learn in the market, but you, you, you give it time and you're going to spend your money. But learning with me, you don't spend much, you spend a little. Hmm? But if you don't learn, want to learn from me, it's up to you. But you must learn what you are doing. Okay. Uh, Nasdaq 100, US 100. Though I don't have time enough to analyze the market. In, the, in my last video, I labeled this. I labeled this as A. I labeled this as A. Then this as B. In my last video. Then I was just expecting Web C to come here. But as, as things stand, I may not get this. This a uh, bigger A B C. Of course, we are, we are getting the, the the three swings, W X Y, mm? which is A B C. So now I've said it a uh, out of time. Sometimes we have double correction, double zigzag. Sometimes we, we we have single zigzag. In this case, I was expecting double zigzag, which will bring the price down here. But as I can see, the price is almost above the first the. The first buying confirmation have this is our buying confirmation. Uh, the, the first buying confirmation and the, the proper one is here. There is almost above the two. So I'm of the opinion that Nasdaq is going to this area. 1400, 410, 420, 430, 440, 450. This is the next move. My next target for US hundred is this area. That's my next target. So it will be a very good buy. Any two sideways we get here, we enter buy. I, I haven't entered the buy anywhere, but I look for buy entry and enter buy. Okay, I think I have covered. Okay, I haven't covered all the pays. Let me try it to do more. I think I haven't spent too much time. So now, let me go to Bitcoin. I think that's where I stopped. I stopped at Bitcoin, right? So, 
Oh my god. My okay, I've done gold. I've done gold. Uh I think silver. I didn't, I didn't go to silver. So now uh in silver we can see just as gold. We are getting a buy a buy uh, a buy reason. So for for um for us to buy, we look okay. Let's go to one hour to see how and when we will buy. Just just like just like uh, just like one hour gold, we look for A B C. Uh, but the gold structure is better than, than this that of silver anyway. So if I am to choose between silver and gold, I will just ten minutes. I will choose uh, gold than silver. So but the two are point upwards, but not the major buy upwards. But we can still have a, a drop. Yes. We still have uh, we still have uh, a reason for it to sell. That reason I cannot tell you here. So now let's go to New Zealand USD. Okay. New Zealand USD expect. Expect uh, expect a further move down. Expect a further move down. Within this channel, we will get another drop. Though it may not it may not go as low as we are I predicted, but at least expect a drop after this move towards this very line again. So we keep watching how it moves the next bitcoin bitcoin is going up but the strength is reducing take it again bitcoin is going up but the strength the strength of the buyers is going is getting weaker and weaker Bitcoin is still going up, but the threat of the buyers are getting weaker and weaker. Hope you understand. If you don't understand, it means that buyers may get tired soon and will see it drop. So, it's true that I, I, target, this, I target this channel, but not the most that we get there. A little move above the current high may sell. Okay? But if, if you think that, that we can we keep going, 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 one way traffic, I think we are making a mistake. Remember, when I was making the, the, the forecast, I think people be careful. When the price was here, I said, you be careful that it will drop. When this happened, somebody asked me, so you say that it will drop, but it's going up. I say yes, but it will drop. After some days, it dropped. Move up, dropped. So it is going sideways. Okay? I know it because I, I, I've been saying this, saying this all along. Not that I, that I, that I don't want you to buy. I want you to buy, but I, I want you to buy it when it will be better for you. Just, just like when I did this ABC, I told you to buy Bitcoin here is good. Go to watch my, my previous videos. I told you that and check the move. Okay. Ethereum. Ethereum make another high. It's amazing. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. But remember, it's it can't keep going straight away. It will give us it goes up and down. It may, it, it, it may give us something like this before we buy again so but i'm no longer looking for the Ethereum to come to this blue box again this have expired so let me make it clear this blue box have expired you know uh it's a little time just some peeps to come to the blue box but it didn't come again so it means that i will see ended here so and the, the new high have been made if you, if you want to buy wait for it to drop to some extent, before you buy, BNB 
I've thought about, I've shown you that SRP is going high, it's very good, it's going high. That's wonderful. So, buyers, you may take your profits or you sell some. If you're telling a margin, you may take profits and watch for pullback or retracement. If you want to buy for the first time, you may consider to wait for some time before you buy. It's not good to buy it when it is very high. It's always good to buy when you see some pullback. Because if, I, if you're watching my video, you will, see, you will always see something like this. This is ABC. So, you know, when the price is here, it will be, it will be so attracted that you may think it is, it is going up, 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 up. But this happens. So, now that, it, now that this has happened, two things will, will, will happen here. You may continue go to getting something like this, something like this. Then, at the time, it will do this. It will do this. So, this is when you buy. When you see this type of move, it's when you buy. Not when you see it's moving noise, it's moving noise, it's moving noise, you jump, bam. You can jump right here and the price will begin to do this. Then you, you will be happy. So you, you need to appreciate what I'm teaching you because it's not easy. So don't see it as, a, as being pessimistic, no. I, I have so many coins, but I buy them at proper time. I buy them. When I should buy them, not when I hear that it's going up or it's going up or I, I go and buy. No, 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 no. I don't do that. And uh, watching my video, I don't want you to to be losing. I want you to make profit. Okay. Doge. You know, even uh, every time market vindicates me. Because what I'm saying always, you also see it. You can see Doge. You see how it moves. Now, if you are uh, new in, in, in crypto, some of you say Doge is, is, is going up, it's going up. Doge is going to $10, it will be soon going to, to $20. Of course, I believe that Doge will someday go to $1, $2, $5, but not, you don't buy it when, when you see a big move like this. But after big move, you see some drop. So it, 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 it's a simple lesson to learn. But for those who are not who are, who are novice, they only hear. Maybe maybe a friend will tell you, bro. So I bought Doge when it was uh, 0 0.003. Now it's now it's 0 0.005, and it's still going up. You come and buy. The next day you see it 0 0.002. You 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 would be happy. But watching watching this video, we make you to come back to my video again to know when I will tell you. It's time to buy. Mm? So that's why I tell you subscribe to my channel so that I click the bell icon so, so that you always get updated. Mm? Doge is good. I'm going to buy Doge because I don't have I, I I have none now. I will buy. To buy here is good, even if it can still drop. But this uh, down move here is not good. Is not good reason to buy. Why I would like to buy here is that I will buy it and keep not, I won't buy it as a margin trading. So I think for a long time, for now, here remains the new button for gold. Sorry, for Doge. Doge may still come back, but it may not come and break here. Of course, anything is, anything is possible, but I don't see it coming to break here. Not even, not, not to here. So, if, 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 if you want to buy Dogecoin, now it's good to buy, not when the price is here. That's what I, I try to say in all this coin that makes us crazy. ETN. Yes, ETN is one of the coins I like. Reason so many people uh, use ETN. You can use it to recharge your card, buy data, do many, many things. So, for because of this acceptability, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it goes to one dollar tomorrow, two dollar, and so on. Remember BNB, wh wh when it was four dollar. Now, how, how much is it? So, uh, ETN, if, 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 if you want to buy ETN, now is good to buy. But you can buy it and see it do this, do this. So don't panic if it happens. If you buy it now, it's good. It may be going up, or it may go up and drop. But the drop doesn't make anything. 
because buying it is buying it for keep. Unless if, if you want to trade it as margin, maybe you need to wait to know whether it will drop. And if, if it didn't drop, wait. If it closed above here, then you buy stop loss here. Okay. Pound JPY. I think I, I've shown you the chart. Didn't I? Pound JPY. Oh. Oh, I didn't show you the chart. Okay, let's continue. Pound JPY. Okay, it's, it's moving in the channel. So, I want to see a drop. I don't like, I don't like uh, buying or selling when the market is channeling unless I entered on time. What do I mean by on time? When the market is making channeling, if I didn't enter it on time, for, for instance, this very market, if I didn't enter it when it, it is around here, I don't want to enter it now because you will suddenly see a drop like this. And when I see that, I will look for buy. But for now, I leave it alone. Pounds USD. Okay, I, I've shown you this. I've shown you this also. Okay, I think I, I have finished what I'm doing. Okay, I, I, I've shown you all this. Okay, now, uh, I have shown you this one. Of course, I've shown you, haven't I? Let's be 500. Okay. I've shown you this. I didn't show you this, right? So, anyway, they are, they are all going up. They are all going up. S&P 500. You see going up also. You see going up. Okay, so, in last video, I told you that if the price breaks this low, it will come further more. But if it didn't break this low, then forget about it. It will be going up. So, for now, you can see it, the correction ended here. So, this W, WSY ended here, so it's going up, but I cannot give you my target now because I didn't prepare the chart to know where the target will be. Nevertheless, okay, let me just give you something to hang on. Let me give something to, to hang on. Okay, let's make a channel. This channel may serve as the next target. Channeling is always work in forest in forex channeling always works okay now this is what we look for so the next target for this pair is something like this this, this will be our next target between here and here. So watch out. You may go like this, give us three waves and move. So you may, you may let, let me clear this thing. You may just move a little more and get three waves to pull back. It might, it might come to the channel. A normal three waves pull back. It won't co come here again until it comes to this place. But if it goes deep, maybe something like this, it will come to the channel. Okay, so just keep this chart. So that's uh, experience we have in trading. Mm? So I've said before, if you, want, if, if, if you want to learn, we teach you with little money, and we teach you very, very well. After being in my class, we do what I'm doing even better. Okay. Subscribe, share it, join Telegram channel. That's why you, that's why you ask questions, and I, I will reply to you. You may ask the questions at, at, at the comment section of this video, but I may, I may not have the time to go there. But channel channel um, Telegram is on my phone, so I always go there. So what we do, uh, as I always tell you, trade with stop loss. Don't ever trade. The skill of trading is. To key your greed. Once you key greed, you will, you will go find trading. Don't try to make all the profit in one day. It doesn't work that way. 
Thank you. God bless you. Have a nice day.